my mother actually passed away quite suddenly and the Saturday night before she died I was on a night out um, and I missed a call from her but I was like sure look I'll call her back tomorrow or whatever it'll be fine and on the Sunday I was hungover and tired and you know stressed about the upcoming week so I said I'll call her on Monday and of course when Monday came around um, I was too late and she had actually passed away. This experience it was such a motivator for me to keep pushing through the challenge because obviously I felt an immense amount of guilt you know I was hung over and I didn't make time for my mum. I'm a final year medical student, but I study in Budapest. Before I joined One Year No Beer, I was quite a social drinker. I wouldn't really drink during the week, but when it came to Saturday nights, I would go big, which would leave me absolutely hungover on Sundays, dying, you know, a complete waste of a day, um, where I, I literally couldn't leave my bed till about two and then couldn't leave the couch for the rest of the day and it would leave you feeling pretty crappy come Monday. It was kind of part of me, it was my persona, I was kind of this person who loved to party, who loved to drink. I just felt like I couldn't really stop. It defined me in a way and I didn't want to let that part of me go because then what else did I have? Um, it stopped being fun for me and I started kind of playing with the idea of I'm going to stop drinking for a while but it was really hard because no one else my age, none of my friends were really doing that. To kind of go out and say I'm not drinking for X amount of time was kind of unheard of. The biggest impact the whole year has had for me is my sleep quality. Honestly, I've never slept better in the last year of my life, like proper deep sleep where you wake up feeling refreshed. My concentration span was definitely increased. Um, I was exercising more, I was eating better. So this obviously crossed over into my studies and I felt like I could do longer study sessions and I could retain information more. And I think I did better on some of my exams. So it definitely had a positive impact. And I feel I can achieve more on a daily basis. And it's like small things like going to the gym or cooking a really nice meal for my family or whatever. And I just feel like I'm a nicer person as well. I have more time for other people. The anxiety that was surrounding the drinking, um, obviously that left once I stopped drinking. Um, but I felt like I had a better mentality and a stronger mentality to kind of tackle difficult life situations. When I'd given up drinking was I finally had my weekends back. So I had so much more time because I wasn't wasting an entire day in bed hungover. I look forward to, you know, my new career, finishing medical school finally. Um, and I have no doubt that I will be able to hold myself accountable. You know, I can go to an event. I don't need the glass of wine in my hand to talk to people and to engage in conversation and meaningful conversations. You know, this last year has changed me, it's changed my life in such a positive way. It's had such an amazing impact on not only myself, but everyone around me. I feel I have a confidence that I haven't had in a really long time. It's incredible the change that I feel in myself um, after not drinking for a year, something that's actually quite simple. Ha, ha, ha.